What is happening my fellow YouTubians? It's your boy English Twist with another Joyzy Click production. I'm coming at you today with a brand new video. One that's going to be on many of yours minds. When is the new and latest jailbreak going to be coming out for iOS 5? And what I have for you today is a lickety slip quick uh, jailbreaking tip that will allow you to uh, have a little more leniency in the world of this tethered jailbreak that's going around the market right now for the iOS 5. Now I have to make this disclaimer, you are going to need a jailbroken device and even though this is quote unquote a semi-tethered video, I'll explain a little more on what that actually means, uh, a semi-tether means that you have the functionality of, excuse me Zeb, what the heck are you doing? Stand down! What you have is a semi-tethered uh, jailbreak which means that you don't have the uh, closed environment the red tape of the tethered jailbreak in all its entirety. You have the ability to use this semi-tethered functionality uh, which means that you are actually able to jailbreak your device and turn it on and off at ease without the worry of being locked out of your phone or iPad iOS device if you have a tethered jailbreak. Alright, so with that said we've got Cydia charged up. Let's go ahead and punch on into that and I'll show you how to do this. So with your jailbroken uh, device. In this case, I'm using the iPad. Feel free to do this on the iPhone, iPod Touch, yada yada yada. You're going to come into your Cydia and you're going to add a specific source. So head on down to uh, your uh, sources and you're going to edit and add as you would any other. This will be a little different on the iPhone, of course, because you have to go to manage, but whatever. So you're going to add this source. Okay, it's a big boss source and it's called thebigboss.org slash semi tether. Alright, you can see it on your screens there. Go ahead and punch that in. I'm going to do this with you because I've not done it on my iPad, uh, but I will do here. So let that load up. This will all be done real time, so you'll see that it does happen. Um, there are some downfalls to this semi tethered approach. Uh, like I say, it has the benefits of the untethered jailbreak, but where the semi tethered sort of lets you down, it turns a bit limp. Uh, you lose the functionality of uh, your some of your m more often used apps, i.e. the Mail app and the Safari. And I'll show you a little bit of what I'm talking about here momentarily. So once you've added that source, the semi-tether, uh, you'll actually, if you're familiar with how Cydia works, the most recently or most commonly, sorry, the most recently added uh, tweaks will be at the top of the page. And right here you can see where I've just added this semi-tether one. I've got some that I need to update, but that's regardless. So go ahead and hit the semi-tether. If it didn't come up there, just do the search and tap in semi-tether, whichever works easy for you. Hit install. Boom. It'll work for you, I promise. I don't know what the heck's going on. There we go. Got a slight meltdown there. It's a pretty small package. Just hit confirm. Let it load up. And your world will be released. It'll be a, quite a relief, actually, because if ever you're out and you're on your phone and you're running low on battery or you know, you're pulling your hair out because you're doing a Linford Christie or a 100-meter sprint to the closest bloody charging port because your blower's about to die and you've got a girlfriend or your mother's asking you to come home and you're about to tell her no that you are going to be late because you're trying to get her some flowers or do her a really good deed and then your phone dies and then they just think that you ignored them and then you get punched in the face when you go home instead of trying to do them a good favor. So if you're with me, you'll know that this is a good thing because you'll be able to use your phone to make a phone call if your phone dies and you're able to charge it up. So here we go, we've actually recycled the phone and if you'd like I'll actually do a real time, um, real time demonstration. I'll turn the little beauty off Okay, brace yourself, brace yourself, there's no hocus pocus trickery going on here, this device was tethered, uh, tethered jailbreak, as you know, it's an iPad on iOS 5, I wish I could have showed you actually, I should have done the drop down menu and then you would have been able to see, but I'll show you when it boots back up that I'm on iOS 5, just so you know, so you know I'm not messing around with you on 4.3.3, which is right now the only untethered jailbreak, or the most up to date firmware anyway, so there we go, the little beauty is turned off, Let's see the little Apple logo, come on. And as I said, because this is a tethered, uh, tethered jailbreak, but with the semi-tethered um, modification to it, you'll see that even though in this state, this is what you're used to seeing with the tethered jailbreak, uh, it will go by this, it will bypass this. It's gonna take a minute or two, so bear with me. But when it does kick in, there we go, see? Boom! Yes, the crowd goes wild. 
His device is turned back on, but let's go ahead and check out my mail. He says, bloody thing's working. No, look, it's not loading up. See? The mail's not loading up. Apparently Safari doesn't work. See, Safari crashes on you. Safari's crashing on you. And, um... But, with that said, uh, let me just whip this out real quick. The mail... Okay. Yeah, look at this. The mail app, I just wanted to test that out real quick. I didn't want to reveal any numbers. No, you come into the messaging. The messages loads up fine. You can send yourself a message. Let me just do test. Test again. Oh, there we go. Test. I had a test. Let's see. Mail messaging works fine. So, okay, it didn't deliver. It did, because I can hear it going. There it is. It just came through on here. Look. Boom! Just came through. See? So it works wonderfully. There was no trickery there. Let's come into the settings just to show you, because this video has gone on for long enough. Just go to general, about, and then there we go. Look, right there, 5.0 with the latest 9 Alpha 334 uh, firmware. So there we go. No trickery, no hocus pocus, semi-untethered. Release yourself from this tethered world until we get the full-on untethered. That's it for now. You know what time it is? Time to rock out. This is English Twist. Signing out. Thank me later. Bye. The thing I was supposed to add before I go, guys, that if uh, you're wondering, you know, how do you actually get the device back to fully functional because you lose the Safari and the Mail, and also you lose your Cydia functions, Cydia apps and Twix, etc., you were wondering, how the heck do I get it back to that full, fully functional state? Well, all you have to do is rerun Red Snow, and your device will be back to the fully operational tethered jailbreak. All right, guys, sorry about leaving that out, but I didn't want to leave you hanging. All right, so take two. Bye. Thank you.